Dylan Fields is a typical 15-year-old boy. He loves sports and plays baseball and soccer for his school. What's not typical about Dylan is the heart defect he was born with. I had Dylan um, January the 29th, 1997, and they told me that he was born with tetralogy of blow. He had a hole in his ventricles. He had stenosis in one of the valves. When Dylan was just six weeks old, doctors closed the hole in his heart and repaired a pulmonary valve obstruction. When he was five, they replaced his pulmonary valve. I had taken him to the doctor. He had gotten where he wasn't wanting to eat. He um, was, again, very, very tired. Fast forward 10 years. 15-year-old Dylan, a budding high school soccer player, started feeling tired again. I played uh, midfield and um, it felt pretty bad. Like I'd, I'd get out of breath like the first two laps. A visit to his cardiologist showed the pulmonary valve doctors replaced 10 years earlier was failing. When the surgeons replace the pulmonary valve in one of our patients with congenital heart disease, like Dylan, uh, we hope that valve is going to last 15 to 20 years. Uh, but too often, valve dysfunction occurs much earlier than that. Uh, valve dysfunction can either be narrowing of the valve, causing blockage, or leakage of the valve. Uh, in Dylan's case, he developed a, 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 a substantial amount of severe uh, pulmonary valve view. leakage, such that the pulmonary valve needed to be replaced. Up until a few years ago, replacing a pulmonary valve required open heart surgery. But McMahon offered the fields another option using the minimally invasive Melody Valve procedure. Patients that need multiple operations to replace the pulmonary valve, to some extent, each new operation carries additional risk uh, of, a, of opening the chest each new time, cardiopulmonary bypass each new time, so that to the extent that it's a safer way to restore pulmonary valve function, it's better. We don't know exactly what the long-term data, what the longevity of these valves is going to be. But if we can reduce the total number of operations that Dylan needs in his lifetime by two, by replacing the pulmonary valve once or twice with a melody valve, that's better. McMahon says he feels good about how long Dylan can go without another open procedure. Well, we're not replacing the need for another operation. Uh, we know that it's likely that Dylan's going to need another operation to replace this pulmonary valve in the future. Dylan, who was able to go back to school about a week after getting his new valve, hopes to play baseball this season. His mom is waiting on Dr. McMahon for the final decision.